Hey everyone, today we're talking about why you should have this simple little small lightweight device in your bug out bag, your pack, your survival gear. This tiny little pencil sharpener could serve as an emergency tool. Maybe power's down, you're out in the mountains and you need to start a fire. Wait till you see how effective this tiny little tool can be in a survival situation. And to top that off, it makes this survival skill super easy to perform, even from children to old age. Tiny little pencil sharpener, why it should be in your survival kit coming right up. Welcome back to all of our amazing subscribers. If you're brand new here, like survival tips like this, prepping tips, news alerts that affect you, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. A tiny baby sized little pencil sharpener could make a huge difference in your survival situation. Now, first of all, I wanna thank a subscriber named Kim who brought this back to my attention. Now, I've known about this, but there's so many things that I wanna make videos on, I often forget. With that, everyone needs to know how effective this little thing is. When it comes to emergency preparedness and survival, a power outage situation, you have to have emergency heat. You need to be able to build a fire so you can stay warm, cook food, and boil some water. Now, in this case, this is the smallest, lightest weight one that I could find. We're talking about grams, not even ounces, which means you can put it in a bug out bag or in your survival kit and not even know it's there. Now, a lot of you guys already have a simple, basic little survival emergency kit like this. And a lot of times they come with a flint striker, much like this one or different, but it's to help you start a fire. And you've also got some other emergency stuff in there for starting a fire. But when you have a tool like this in your bag, you won't have to use some of those emergency things other than the flint starter. Now, like I said, the humble pencil sharpener is not something that everyone has thought about putting in their kit, right? You have to remember a pencil sharpener, even in wet conditions when it's raining, will uncover the dry wood underneath the bark. And it should be easy to find some small twigs. A lot of times when you find trees like this, the lower tree limbs are often dead and skinny. And these small limbs down here are just about the perfect size for doing this little pencil sharpener emergency fire scenario. And you'll know they're dry because they'll snap really easy. They won't bend, they'll snap. And look, they're the perfect size. And if you guys can find a pine tree like this, a lot of times their wood is full of resin and burn really good. And the bottom of a pine tree has tons of pencil sized sticks. And while you're at it, grab some dry pine needles. So small twigs in this pencil sharpener will make things very ideal. And so with this pine, you can easily remove the bark and put it in that pencil sharpener. And then this pencil sharpener will make nice flat curls really easy. The other benefit of these small curls and making an emergency heat, they should burn for a good amount of time, allowing you to build your fire with tinder or kindling. You'll be able to build it up to a nice fire pretty quick. Then you'll take your emergency kit. A lot of these little flint starters look like this now. You just work them kind of like a lighter. But more often than not, everyone's got a flint starter, a little ferro rod. Just like that, guys. Then you got the start of a small fire because we have a pencil sharpener. Imagine out there in the middle of nowhere, you can get this done with just a pencil sharpener. 
So that's how cool this is. It's so small, it's lightweight, doesn't take up a lot of space, but definitely should be in your kit. Now, if you've never used flint or ferro rods, I recommend you getting used to them, learn how to use them. But anyway, guys, pencil sharpener. It could help you with emergency heat, emergency cooking, and starting that fire when you need one. I'll leave some links down in the description below in case you guys wanna check some of this stuff out. If you guys happen to have some other tips or some pro tips, be sure to put them in the comments down below. Maybe I'll add them to my list to another video. So with that, keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you guys on the next one.